I heard that you are a Roman Catholic. Yes. What is wrong with that? Please. Don't misunderstand me. I love people, but the truth must be spoken. The Catholic religion is full of false doctrine. You bigot. Can't you understand that Jesus founded the Catholic Church? No. That is not true. I see you don't read the Bible. Matthew 16, 18, says that Jesus founded the church on Peter, who was the first pope. You're taking that verse out of context. The rock is Christ, according to 1 Corinthians 10, 4. The Douay Rheims Bible took out the words in the Old Testament passages that said the rock refers to God, only. The Greek word in Matthew 16, 18, is Petra. Peter was named Cephas, or stone, in John 1, 42. The Greek word there is Petros. They are two different words. Peter was not the first pope, because he was married, according to Mark 1, 30. What are you talking about? The keys were given to Peter to forgive sins. John 20, 23, says to receive the Holy Ghost, and to remit, and lose sins. That is serious blasphemy. Mark 2, 7, says that God alone can forgive sin. Peter was given the keys to preach the gospel. If you read Matthew 18, 18, it is the same phrase. Romans 1, 16, says it is the gospel that saves. If someone does not accept the gospel, then their sins are retained. The apostles never forgave sin. Look at, Acts, chapter 8. He told Simon the sorcerer, to pray to God, if he should be forgiven for what he did. I don't know. All I know, is that I follow church tradition. That is a mistake. Jesus said in Matthew 15, 9, that the people worship him in vain, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. Stop attacking the Catholic Church. The priests and Pope are to be honored, and called fathers. They are not to be called father, according to Matthew 23, 9. Only God is to be referred to as the spiritual father. The Pope is not a holy father. Isaiah 42, 8, says the God will not share his glory with another. You're a bigot. Priests live a holy life. They are forbidden to marry, because they are consecrated to God. This teaching is found in the Catholic Catechism, number 15, 80. That is a satanic rule, 1 Timothy 4, 1, says that in latter times people will depart from the faith, teaching doctrines of devils. Verse 3, says forbidding to marry, is an evil doctrine, along with forbidding to eat meat, which the Catholic Church forbids on Good Friday. This is why you have the pervert scandal of sexually abusive priests. Bigotry. You will burn in hell, if you do not believe in the Catholic Church. I will pay for you to get out of purgatory. That is a lie. Purgatory does not exist. It is a pagan idea of money making. Psalm 49, 6, and 7, says that wealth cannot redeem a brother, nor give to God a ransom for him. We are already perfected in faith, when we are in Christ. Hebrews 10, 14, abolishes purgatory. By prayer, we can pray to the Holy Mother, Mary, and she intercedes for us. By praying her rosary, she promises to protect us. Mary is dead. There are plenty of verses in the Bible to prove that the dead cannot do anything. Examples are, Psalms 146, 4, Job 7, 10, and Ecclesiastes 9, 5, 1 Timothy 2, 5, says there is one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. Jesus warns in Matthew 6, 7, against vain repetitions. But Mary is free from all sin. We sing Immaculate Mary in church all the time. Blasphemy. Romans 3, 23, says all have sinned, and come short of the glory of God. Romans 3, 10, and 5, 12, also. This is pagan goddess worship. Catholics praise Mary, but this is not biblical. But the Pope bows down to Mary statues. That is against the second commandment. Nothing is to be worshipped besides God. The Catholic Church took out that commandment and split the ninth and tenth into two separate ones. Mary is holy, she remained a virgin. Not true. Mark 6, 3, says that Jesus had brothers and sisters, and also Galatians 1, 19. Matthew 1, 25, says Joseph knew not Mary, until they brought forth her firstborn son. If she did not have other children, why does it say firstborn, new, is a term for sexual relations. Compare this with Genesis 4, 17. 
Cain knew his wife, and Barry Nock. I don't believe this. The Holy Eucharist is the actual body and blood of Christ. It is a remembrance of the Lord's death. Transubstantiation is a myth. John 6, 63, says the words are spiritual. John 6, 35, says whoever comes to Jesus will never hunger, and whoever believes on him will never thirst. By faith alone, we drink his blood. Jesus claimed to be the vine, and the door. We can see, that these are symbolic. You could be damned for that. The Council of Trent murdered millions of Christians for rejecting its teachings. This was predicted in prophecy. Rome is drunken with the blood of the saints, in Revelation 17, 6. Liar. We can be saved by good works. Ephesians 2, 8, says we are saved by grace through faith. Good works cannot save. They are the fruit of faith. Infant baptism is also a lie, because the Bible says they must believe in Christ first. It is also done by immersion. How can infants do that? Don't know. Sunday is still our sacred Sabbath day. The church changed God's law. No one can change God's law. Read Malachi 3, 6, and Matthew 5, 18. The seventh day is the Sabbath, or Saturday, according to Exodus 20, and verse 8 to 11. You Protestants take away from the Word of God. Apocrypha is scripture. The Apocrypha teaches many immoral practices. Jesus never quoted it. It is pagan writings. Mary apparitions have been seen all over the world. She tells us that our church is true. 2 Corinthians 11, 14, says Satan can transform into an angel of light. Be warned. I am sick of you opposing Mary. The Catholic religion is the beast. Rome sits on seven hills, according to Revelation 17, 9. Revelation 13, 18, says the number of the beast is 666. The Pope's title, Vicarious Philly Day, adds up to 666. It can't be. I don't want to listen. Study the Bible for yourself. Beware of Catholicism.